hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today this is amen clothing youtube channel where we teach you how to use pattern drafting to create unlimited designs in tailoring just like the one you're seeing on your screen now so if you're new here do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification icon if you're not subscriber thanks for always coming back i really do appreciate you so today we are going to be making this beautiful tear ground that is showing on your screen now that has sleeveless as you can see is neatly fitted on the sleeves no area is gapping especially the sleeveless area is fitted and as you can see how bouncy the flare looks okay the tire flare everything is in alignment if that's what you want to learn then keep watching this video till the very end let's head straight to it okay so first i'm going to be explaining the basic bodies front first so that very line is my guideline and the point where you saw me mark is my shoulder and this other point is my basic neckline okay so from my shoulder i went down by one inch to get my shoulder slope and i connected it to my basic neckline points having done that i went from that shoulder slope to mark my armhole length okay so after that from the midpoint of my shoulder slope i had to mark down my bust point measurement vertical right and my waist measurement okay so after that i went ahead also to impute my bust apart measurement from my center front to this very point and i marked half inch on both sides which is my dart to the bust point which is my dart okay and after doing that also i also went ahead to check where i'm going to be imputing my um, what is it called sorry my armhole <laughs> you guys so i went ahead to mark the very midpoint of my armhole okay i'm not saying the measurement because you have to use what your measurement is so some people don't get confused especially for the beginners so from that midpoint i marked one inch inwards and i'm covering it like so and also one inch at the very point of that outward area and i curved it like so if you have a curve rule a curved rule or french curve it will be easier for you for my son for my basic neckline i used three inches downwards and three inches on the vertical line and i'm joining it like so okay like i said if you have a french curve it's going to make your work easier so i had to i joined it like so and that's it not all for our basic bodies i went ahead to impute my side bust dart and i marked where my under bust stopped because i always like my side bust dart to come up like 1.5 inch from where my under bust is so i used three inches and i'm going to be marking half inch on both sides to get my side bust dart okay so i'm going ahead now to mark it like so for my side bust dart i'm going ahead to mark it like so and this is what it looks like I'm now going ahead to create the dart from the half inch that I marked on both sides. And that is basically our front bodies. That is our basic front bodies, okay? For whatever you want to make, this is your basic front bodies. But this now, we are going to be manipulating it to get the fit we want for the upper bodies. Remember, it's a sleeveless top. Like, the top is sleeveless, okay? There's no sleeve. So, we we'll have to work on it to get that fit for a sleeveless okay since we are not attaching any sleeve we are going to work on these basic bodies to get the feet for a sleeveless so that's what we're going to be working right now i'm going ahead to remove all the parts so we have our basic bodies okay so now this is what we have as our basic bodies front so now we're going to be working to get that whole sleeveless pattern that we desire okay So from my shoulder point, I'm going to be imputing the contour guideline that is, that is supposed to be at the shoulder. But before that, I want to mark in my bust circumference, not everything, just at the top here to help me know where the contour guideline is going to be stopping and where I'm going to be closing the dart. Okay, that's just the reason why I'm marking my bust apart, my bust circumference at just the top here not round just the top here to help me know where i'm going to be stopping my contour guideline that is coming from the shoulder and also from the armhole okay so this is just what i need and i've done this now we're heading over to this next point which is my shoulder contour guideline okay i'm going to mark my shoulder contour guideline because we want a sleeveless 
upper bodies. So I haven't done that. I'm going to mark in half inch on this line, on that point of my bust circumference. And I'm joining it like so to my bust point. I hope you guys understand. So this is it right now. Okay, for my shoulder contour guideline. So for the contour guideline that will be at the armhole area, I'm also going ahead to mark at the lower point of my armhole. I'm going to be marking, let's say, 2.5 inches from the lower point of my armhole. I'm going to be marking 0 0.4 inches on it like so. And I'm going to be connecting it to my bust point also. So these are the two contour guidelines that we will be needing for these sleeveless upper bodies. So let's go ahead now to manipulate our darts okay firstly i'm going ahead to open up my side bust dart we are not going to be contouring our neckline because it's actually a high neckline it's not cutting in deep it's a high neckline okay it's not cutting in deep so for my shoulder because it's a sleeveless i'm not attaching a sleeve i don't want it to be at the very end of my shoulder so i have to remove one inch from the shoulder okay one inch and i'm going to be connecting it to my I'm whole like so. Okay, this is bound to change by the time we manipulate that. But do not worry, you understand if you are following me. So for my neckline, I wanted it to cut more deep, not very deep. I want to remove, I removed like about half an inch on the vertical and the horizontal. Okay, for my neckline, I removed about half an inch on the vertical and the horizontal. Okay. And so I'm joining it together like so. Please, this tutorial is very detailed. The tutorial is very detailed. And when you want to practice, just do exactly what I am doing. And I bet you are going to be having same result. Your own even turn out more beautiful than mine. <laughs> so I'm going ahead to manipulate the dart now. And I'm removing the side bust dart first. Then we'll go ahead to start opening the contour lines. The contour dart, sorry. So I'm starting with my shoulder contour line. This is the way I'm opening it like so. I'm cutting like so. And I'll be closing it up. I'll be closing it up and using my cello tape to hold it down, okay? I'm using my cello tape to hold it down so it doesn't move out of place. Okay. And I also go ahead to close up my armhole contour dart. I also go ahead to close up my armhole contour dart. Now I'll be I opened it, sorry, and I'm going ahead to close it up like this. All the darts that I closed now, I opened them at my side post dart. Okay. I opened it at my side post dart. Because of the nature of this fabric, I don't want to so much on the upper bodies that very line you're seeing there is because the fabric was not enough in fact this is two yards and 10 inches that i used in making this fabric two yards and 10 inches okay so i told you that line at the shoulder is bound to change so we're going to be working with what we have exactly okay i've checked it's added about 0 0.3 inches which is okay so we're going to be using that as our armhole now I'll be trying to remove every excess that isn't needed, okay? So this is our current armhole now, okay? This is our current armhole. Like I said, I'm going ahead to cut off the neckline. So we'll get the exact neckline that we need. So like I was saying before, this very particular fabric is poly. So I don't want to so much. It's scuba or poly, as you know. I don't want to so much on it. It's actually soft. So sewing much on it is going to ruin it or make it look... It's not going to look nice, okay? It's going to look tacky. So I don't want to sew much. So I'm going ahead now to close my waist dart. And also I'll open it at the side bust dart. I feel the side bust dart is kind of hidden, okay? Like when I put my arms down, you're not going to be seeing where I sewed the dart from. So that was why I decided to use my side bust dart to open up the whole of this dart. And I'll be sewing it from there, okay? Because I don't want to sew much on this pulley or scuba fabric. So this is our pattern for the front this is what our pattern for the front looks like and when you close your dart this is the kind of fit you're going to be having can you see that mm -hmm. so this is our pattern for the front okay so i'm going to have to label it now I labeled front bodies pattern 
design, sorry, front bodies design. So let's head straight to the lower, to the lower bodies, right? The flare of it. Let's head straight to the lower bodies, the flare. So before we start, I'd like to say that whatever we'll do to the front is what we'll do to the back. So this is the front, okay? Whatever we'll do to this front pattern is what we are doing to the back. Okay? So I'm just showing you. This is my dart, my hip line, and my head. Okay. So first things first, we are going to be the bust apart measurement all the way to the hemline. I'm going to be extending my bust apart all the way to my hemline. I'm going to have to mark it in like so. And I'll go ahead to extend it all the way to my hemline. So having done that now, we'll go ahead to open up that dart there. By opening this very waist dart. Okay. And also we'll be cutting on this very line. On this bust apart measurement line i'm going to be cutting on it. if you've been following my channel you should get used to me doing this i mean we always do this when we want to get whether it's an a line or want to just tilt our skirts we always do this we don't want a fitted skirt we always do this okay so as you can see i've closed the dart and i've opened it at the hem because we need fullness at the hem and not at the waist okay so I closed the dart to open it up at the hem because we need fullness at the hem and not at the waist. So now our waist is tight and we have a fullness at the hem. So this is what it looks like. Okay. And then I'll go ahead now to start joining my guideline for the flare. I want this flare to be very full. Mm? So I'm going to be doing the lines to kind of be much. Like I said, I just have 2 yards and 10 inches of fabric. You have more, you can make your lines tinier so you can have more lash and spread, you know. You can have more. But if you like what I'm wearing, just use the same exact amount of line if you feel like. Okay. So, this is it. I'm kind of joining my lines like so. I'm joining my lines like so. So I haven't drawn in my lines. Next thing we are going to be cutting to and not through. Just slash and spread. Yes, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to be slashing and spreading this line to form um, a flare skirt. Okay. We're going to be slashing and spreading these lines to form a, a flare skirt. Like I said, this tutorial is very detailed. I'm going to be showing you, cutting the whole thing here, showing you everything that I did. This is a very detailed tutorial. So I'm going to be slashing and spreading the lines. Okay. My paper is actually a thick one. It's not the normal pattern paper. Since I'm not doing any drip, I decided to use this thick paper. But if I'm draping, I'll be using the normal pattern paper because I can't I can't actually use this paper for to form drapes. It's actually it's very thick. So I'm going ahead to cut like so. So this is what it looks like but i'm going to be slashing and spreading properly okay i decided to cut open this very dark area but not to the waist like i said the waist is still going to be tight so we can at least have more fullness you know so i i'm gonna have to slash and spread them i four inches apart on each of them four inches apart on each of the spreads at the hemline okay the four inches at the hemline so this is what it looks like and this is just your one side of the front because if we are cutting this now we'll be cutting it on fold so when you want to form the entire gown what do you do you'll be cutting this one first and then you want to measure the amount or how many inches you want for your first or second layer sorry for the very top layer then you now mark it all the way around and cut it out i'm going to be showing you that also in this video if you don't understand you cut this first out then mark out how many inches you want 
and cut it out. So firstly, we are going to be cutting this now. As a full flare, the very first one, is it the first or the second? I think it should be the second one. The second tire, which is the full one, we are going to be cutting it out first, okay? So I've placed it on my fabric. My fabric is white. I hope you can, you can differentiate between the paper and the fabric now. My fabric is white, okay? My fabric is white. I'm trying to tilt the front so I can have more, you know, flare at the front, at the center front. So I'm, I think I'm okay with what I have, the way it is. I don't have enough fabric, so I'm also trying to economize my fabric too. I'm going ahead now to cut it like so. Okay, from the waistline, that half inch there is for the joining to the upper bodies. I'm cutting on the side. Since it's a flare, I, I'm not going to be leaving as much allowance, much at the, just one inch is okay by the side. Since it's a flare, okay, just one inch is okay by the side. And also, I'm going ahead to cut at the hem. Like I said, this is a scuba fabric. I'm not folding the hem. So I want to make sure that I cut it to be smooth with my scissors. I'm not going to be folding the hem. I just want to make sure I cut it to be smooth with my scissors, okay? And that is what I'm doing right now. So this is what we're having, okay? This is what it looks like. So I've gone ahead to do that i've cut the first one now for the second one this is what we are going to do like i explained i'm going to be showing you here clearly i went ahead to check the full length of this my lower bodies and whatever i have i divided it by two okay and i'm marking that amount all the way around like so from my waistline i'm marking it all the way around i hope you understand Marking it all the way around the reason for this is so you have the same exact thing what you have at the top is what you have down Okay, as you can see, my flare, they are aligned. They are in alignment. That's the reason why you have to use the same pattern to, to get whether it's two tiers, three tiers, how many layers you want. You have to use your same pattern. So everything is in alignment and every, everything comes out nice. So since I'm done marking, as you can see those tiny, tiny, small lines that I used, since I'm done marking the inches that I'll be needing, and I have to put in papers there. So when I cut... Okay, I have to cut it the same way it is. I don't know if you get me. If I cut it open now, there are no papers there that, are, that is holding them together. Okay, it's actually open. So I'm going to be putting papers to kind of bind them together. So when I cut, they are not separate. And I don't lose how many inches apart, which they are. Okay, the only measurement i have like fully is for the hemline so these other ones at the top i don't know how many inches apart they are the hemline regulates it for me and that's the way it should be so i have to use a part a paper to put underneath especially on those places where i'm going to be cutting and then i'll use my tape to hold them down before i cut so i don't you know lose my inches for the apart for the distance apart for the gap that is between them okay so everything comes out nice so that's what i'm doing right now okay that's why i'm putting these papers right now so i haven't done that i'll use my pen to you know make the lines visible more visible how many inches i marked to make it more visible before i use my scissors and then i'm going to start cutting so that's how i do it for my tear gown whether it's two tear three tear how many layers you want i would advise you to do it this way okay you're going to be having a perfect result So as you can see, this is the top part of it. This is what the top part looks like, okay? This is what it looks like. So I'm going to be getting my fabric and I'll be cutting this very top part right now, okay? So that was what I advised earlier. You have to cut the full first before you cut the, the second part of it. So I've cut and this is what it looks like. This is what they look like. The first layer and the second layer. The top layer and the one underneath. This is what they look like, okay? So same thing we're also going to be doing for the back. So I'm trying to hold it to show you guys. This is what it looks like. 
and okay that's it so heading over to our basic bodies up sorry our pattern for the upper bodies you know this is sleeveless and i don't want to be using a bias i want to use my lining to turn everything neatly so we're going to be forming we're going to be getting uh what do they call it again so we're going to be getting the facing from the from the bodies okay from your actual bodies that you're using that's where you get your facing so everything comes out neat look at the picture on the left hand side left i'll be right on the picture at the top of the screen you can see the way my neckline my armhole everything is neat neatly turned and lined i got because i got the facing from the basic bodies from the bodies that i used also for the pattern please not the basic bodies my front bodies design okay so that's where i got the facing you can cut from wherever you like especially when you're doing for a sleeveless you want to go deep a bit after the armhole maybe like two inches or 1.5 i think is okay so this is my facing for the front okay this is what it looks like that's where we are going to be facing the whole of the neckline. And I'll show you how I joined it. Keep watching this tutorial to the end. I'll show you how to sew it so it comes out nice, okay? So this is also for the back. Same thing we are going to be doing for the back. I'm going to be getting my facing also for the back. So from here, I'm going to be cutting my facing for the back, okay? I'm labeling back facing and this is what it looks like okay my front facing and my back facing this is what they look like okay mm -hmm. so let's head straight to the sewing part of it i'm gonna have to join to sew up the dots all the dots that i closed up so this joining at the center is because my fabric wasn't enough okay so i had to cut my center front in two pieces and join the center together so now this is the facing for the front is a hole is in hole i didn't do it like the front so this is what it looks like okay the facing from the front i'm going to have to sew up my neckline first you sew your neckline first after sewing the neckline okay you go ahead to sew up the shoulder front and back neatly okay you go ahead to sew the front and back neatly i also show you guys as we go on before you come to the armhole area then finish up so this is what i'm talking about for the shoulder as you can see this is the lining it's closed and when you flip over the body the front also is closed and see the armhole see how neat it is nothing is hanging out the fabric is actually covering it you won't even see the lining as you can see even the one i'm putting on so let's head straight to the part where i have not sewn so i'll show you guys now I've joined the neckline, okay? I've also sewn my armhole area and I've sewn the shoulder. I have a lot of videos that will show you how to show how to sew shoulders neatly. Mm. So if that if you want to see that also, drop a comment in the comment section and I'll link you to the tutorial. So this I'm going to be taking this out right now, okay? If you want a more detailed tutorial on this, you, you guys can let me know. So I'll make a more detailed tutorial on this finishing. So I turned it out and this is what it looks like, okay? I turned it out and this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So here is it now, like so. This is the back actually, okay? This is the back actually. And when you turn to the front, this is what we're having. Can you guys see? Like it's neat. There's nothing hanging around. Everything is neat. Everything is okay. Okay. So heading over to the lower bodies. What I do is I join the first and the second layer together first before I sew. I think, yes, that's the way it should be. You join the first and the second together. And that notch at the center is my center front. So when I'm joining it to the upper bodies, I know where the center is. Mm. So what you're going to be doing is from that center notch that you marked, you also use the center of your front bodies and you join them from the center front from the center first you want to put your needle at the center first and sew all the way down to one side then you come back and sew the other side also i hope you understand that so look at the armhole area i'm done stitching it and this is how beautiful it turned out 
this is how nice it turned out as you can see the lining see the front how beautifully it turned out okay so that's what it looks like and having done that this is the finished product on me you guys what do you have to see thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next in the next one okay bye